the more people use Android these days, the more we learn about the different hidden features that are baked into the mobile operating system. So for example, when you swipe down from the top, if you just want to go straight to the full quick settings page, you can actually do a two finger swipe down instead of having to swipe down and then swipe down again. One of the newest additions to Android was the quick apps switcher. That will let you switch between two different applications very quickly by just double tapping on the recents button. So a lot of people have been wondering what's going to happen with this feature with Android P's new navigation gestures feature. But surprisingly enough, Google has thought of this and the feature is still there when we have the navigation gestures feature enabled. So today I'm going to show you how to continue using this quick apps switcher, switcher shortcut on Android P with the new navigation method. All right, so I've gone ahead and enabled the navigation gestures feature on Android P. And this will show you the two apps. I'm going to switch from the Daydream application to the calculator application. So instead of tapping twice on a button that is no longer there, we're going to swipe the home button, that dash icon, to the right to switch between the two applications. Just a simple swipe switches us from one application to the last application we have open. And depending on how, how you enjoy doing a double tap of a button, this might even be an improvement to the quick apps feature entirely. So that is how to continue using the quick apps switcher shortcut on Android P, even when you have the navigation gesture feature enabled.